Well, an item parents likely never had in school is often now in their kids' hands when they step into class. Teachers say it's proven to be vital for some students. How do fidget tools work and how can they help kids learn? Good question. Jeff Wagner found parents whose kids will have one in their backpacks on the first day of class. Does the school supply list look different than when we grew up? Yes. So I have a fifth grader. She needs a stylus for her iPad. Well, they had to get headphones to use with their school iPads. Tech is trending as a top supply kids need these days before heading into the classroom. But so too is a tool that on first look might appear to be a toy. Is this something that your yes. kids have used? You guys have those on your backpacks. Do you have one of these? Yeah. He's got one. <laughs> yeah, several. Fidget tools come in many forms. There are multifunction cubes, marbles that slide in a cloth, and poppets to push with your finger. We use a puffy slime that has beads in it for a different texture. They're offering pencil bags that oh, have yeah. this all around yeah, the side. I've seen that. Before people were left needing to sort of jiggle their leg or tap their foot or click their pen or twirl their hair, chew gum. Dr. Kaz Nelson is an associate professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences. Why might someone fidget? If an individual is having difficulty concentrating or focusing, fidgeting can actually provide the sensory input to the body to improve concentration and focus. And on the other hand, if an individual is anxious or nervous, this kind of fidgeting can actually soothe and calm the nervous system as a form of self-regulation. Focus, concentration, and stress relief can translate to success in a classroom setting, which Priscilla Smith sees firsthand. I'm a one-on-one -on -one SPED para, so my SPED students use them, and it keeps their hands busy, but they're also focusing, and that's how we do their verbal testing. Dr. Nelson says just about any kid could potentially benefit from a fidget tool, but especially kids with anxiety, ADD or ADHD, obsessive compulsive disorder, and autism. This might be something adults should consider? Absolutely. You understand how this can be helpful? Yes, and I do it myself. If I'm reading a story, I'm kind of tapping on them, and then I flip it over. It's a form of self-coping and self-regulation depending on the person's needs, and none of us are immune to those kinds of needs. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. A study in 2006 had sixth graders use stress balls in class. Results showed they increased attention spans, helped students who struggled to sit, sit still, and they were less of a distraction to others.